Hi everybody, this is Haley from the Comfy Cottage. Today we're going to be stitching the woven stitch. I've created the small ornament and I'm going to be doing the woven stitch in the red background. I'm using a red DMC six strand floss and I'm going to start my stitch at the top and I'm basically going to be making a stitch that crosses two intersections. If you had a larger space, you could actually do this crossing more intersections if you wanted. But you'll just make that diagonally to the left. You can see that there, I kind of skip one hole that's underneath. Okay, and now I'm going to skip one hole to the left and do another stitch. That's how I keep track of where I am. Some people, I think, say intersections. I Some people like to keep track by holes. Again, come up through the back. Skip two intersections. So you'll do this all the way across on the top row. And when you get to a section like this that you can't cross the two intersections, you'll basically just want to do as much as you can. Like I'm just crossing one intersection for these last few stitches on this row. Sometimes I find that I miss these as I stitch, so I come back later at the end and I just fill them in for the few that I miss. Compensating can sometimes get a little hectic. We'll skip down to the next row, and for this one we're going to be coming up to, through the back and then across diagonally to the right. Always pay close attention to your thread if you're using applied floss like I am, that your threads all lie parallel to each other as you're stitching. It's very key to a nice end look. As I start to meet up with my top row, you can see that they'll lock into each other. I'm actually going underneath the threads in the first row, creating like a little sideways T. Just make sure when you're kind of going underneath that first row that you don't puncture the threads that you've already laid down. You kind of want to use the tip of your needle to push them to the side. All right. See I've come to one that I didn't feel was parallel to each other so I pulled it out and straightened it out with my needle. You can use a line tool which is the preferred method of making nice neat stitches. Um, I'll make a video to show you how to use those correctly. I'm just basically going to fill in all the red around my tree. I'm going to avoid stitching on top of my tree um, for the future stitching so I don't get too much of a thickness on the back. So you can see I've finished it. You can still see through my tree. Stay tuned for our next video when I fill in the tree. Want to see more videos? Click here to subscribe to our newsletter.